Hi, this is Connor from Block Demon, and today I'm going to show you how to begin staking your live peer tokens live on the blockchain. So let's get started. So to start staking your live peer tokens, you first need a live peer wallet and also have LPT tokens in that wallet. LPT is the native currency of the live peer blockchain. You also need to have some Ethereum tokens to pay for some of the transaction fees involved in the live peer staking journey. In this video, I'll be using the MetaMask wallet, which is available as a browser extension in Chrome and Brave. In this MetaMask wallet, I have both live peer tokens and Ethereum tokens. Live peer tokens are ERC20, meaning they are native assets on the Ethereum blockchain. The first thing we'll want to do is connect our MetaMask wallet to explorer.livepeer.org, which is the hub of live peer staking. You can do this by clicking on the green connect wallet button in the top right corner of the live peer dashboard. We can then select the MetaMask wallet option, which will cause a window to appear from MetaMask to select the account we want to use on the site. Proceed by clicking next, then finally the connect button. Once you've connected your MetaMask to the live peer site, you'll see this pop up appear that we are connected to Ethereum mainnet. However, because LivePeer uses Arbitrum, we need to make sure that we switch over to the Arbitrum network by clicking on the green button in the middle of the screen. This triggers a message from MetaMask asking if we give LivePeer permission to add a network to our MetaMask wallet. Once we approve, we can switch to the Arbitrum network. However, we can see that we have a zero balance on the dashboard when we connect our wallet. You might be wondering why this is. This is because our live peer and Ethereum funds live on the Ethereum network at the moment, rather than on the Arbitrum network, which is the network that we want. This is because Arbitrum is what's known as a layer two network, meaning transactions are processed off of the layer one Ethereum main network. Once tokens are in this layer two network, however, they enjoy faster speeds and lower transaction costs. However, they must first be transferred here to this layer two network. That now means we need to send our layer one live peer tokens over to Arbitrum's layer two network using a bridge. So to access this bridge, go ahead and navigate to bridge.arbitrum.io where you'll instantly have the option to connect your MetaMask wallet. This will prompt a MetaMask prop, uh, pop up letting you connect to the site. And you can click next, following by connect to proceed. Once we've successfully connected our MetaMask, we'll be able to view our layer one Ethereum balance. We also want to view our live peer layer one token balance so that we can transfer it to Arbitrum. We can do this by clicking on the token button where we can search for live peer by typing in LPT. Next, click on import, then on the navy colored import token button. We can now see our live peer balance appear on screen, which in our case is 1.65 live peer tokens. When I click on the max amount, the total amount is available to swap on the bridge. Once you're happy with the amount of live peer tokens you want to transfer, click on the blue deposit button at the bottom of the screen. You'll see a new window now pops up asking to confirm your deposit to Arbitrum. So click on the red move funds to Arbitrum button. Click on, clicking on this button will trigger a pop-up from MetaMask asking if you want to switch networks, which I'm happy to do. Depending on how busy the Ethereum network is, you may be required to wait a short while as your transaction is processed. Once some time has passed, you'll be presented with a pop-up from MetaMask asking if you give the Arbitrum bridge permission to access your LPT funds. This permission is needed as a first step in order for your tokens to be transferred to the Layer 2 Arbitrum network. If you're happy to proceed with this transaction fee associated to approve this transaction, in my case $6, you can click Confirm. After we paid to give Arbitrum permission to access our live peer Layer 1 tokens, we still need to pay for the transaction over to Layer 2. That's why we now have a new gas fee we need to pay for the actual deposit into Layer 2 itself. Once we're happy with the gas fee, click on the blue Confirm button. You can now see 
that the le deposit L2 transaction is pending on the page as we wait for it to bridge to Arbitrum. After waiting a few minutes, we can see that depositing our live peer tokens onto Arbitrum's Layer 2 network was a success. Our Arbitrum balance is now 1.65 LPT tokens, and we can confirm this by going to MetaMask, switching networks to Arbitrum, then clicking the Import Tokens button in the Assets tab. From there, we can copy and paste the token address which is displayed on screen under the words Layer 2 Balance. We do this by clicking on the link to Etherscan and then copying and pasting that, to into that address into the token address field in MetaMask. We can now see that our final balance appears and we can import our tokens now. However, there is one more step needed to be taken before we can begin staking our live peer tokens. You also need to bridge some Ethereum over to pay for the small gas fees on Arbitrum. That means I'll go ahead and bridge a small portion of my Ethereum balance that I have on my MetaMask wallet by depositing it into Arbitrum in the same way I did with my live peer tokens. Note, however, that there is also a gas fee associated with bridging your Ethereum to Arbitrum. Now that everything we need has been bridged to Arbitrum, so all of our live peer uh, balance and some of our Ethereum balance, we're ready to start staking. So to stake your live peer tokens, head back over to explorer.livepeer.org where you'll be able to connect your wallet by switching to the Arbitrum network in the pop-up, allowing your newly transferred live peer tokens to be immediately available for staking. To start staking, we need to choose which validator on the live peer network we want to stake to. These are the validators that are actively participating in consensus and generating rewards for their delegators on the live peer network. I'm interested in staking to Block Demon. And so to find Block Demon, you can either search for it in the search bar above or navigate to Block Demon directly in the list of available network orchestrators. Because we've successfully connected our wallet, you'll see that our balance now appears on Block Demon's dashboard as being available to delegate. In my case, it is correctly displaying my balance of 1.65 LPT tokens, which I bridged over to Arbitrum. By clicking on this balance, I'm allowing all of my available funds to be staked to Block Demon, and then I'll click Delegate. After we click on the Delegate button, a MetaMask pop-up will appear in your browser to confirm the transaction. Because we want to post a transaction to the blockchain, you'll need to pay some gas fees for our delegation to go through successfully. In this example, our estimated gas fee is extremely low as we're operating on the Arbitrum Layer 2 network. So if you're happy to proceed, go ahead and click Confirm. The good news is that our transaction was successful and you can now see that our live peer tokens have been successfully staked. Here, we also have the ability to get a transfer receipt of our transaction. That means everything has been successfully delegated to Block Demon. So there you have it. That is how you get started staking your live peer tokens directly on the network. I hope you found this helpful and if you have any questions about staking to Block Demon, please do not hesitate to reach out. Take care.